It is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. This is the Early Edge, powered by Sportsline. We are in your feet every single day before 11 a.m., and we do it all in 10 minutes or less. The clock is running. And I got to tell you, we own the good days and we own the bad days. This is yesterday's rundown, and it belongs absolutely right in the trash. Games are canceled. Bad beats the whole nine yards. But guess what? Tea times just started out at the American Express Championship. Hopefully, you got all your plays in that we gave you yesterday. Eight total here on the early edge. But today, it's about the NBA. NHL and college basketball. So I said, you know what? I got to bring my two best cappers for the day. So let's bring them in right now. And Chief is standing by. There he is. Look below me. M squared, and he is all dolled up today. Looking good. He's got the gel going. Good morning, M squared. <laughs> good morning. Uh, put a little vest on. Nice and cold here this morning in Nashville. But ready to uh, ready to give some picks here. I like it. And of course, the man next to me, he's our rock. He's our legend. He is the maestro, Larry Hartstein. Larry, good morning. Good morning, Coach. I want to correct you, at least where it concerns me. I didn't have bad beats. I had bad picks that I gave out yesterday on the show, 0-2, oh. on my college hoops plays. But I got to tell you, it's frustrating when the other plays that are that I'm posting on Sportsline went 3-1. and one. I'm going to sink, try to sync those up today. Let's go. Man, I'm going to try to give people a little... Uh... A little help when it comes to sports line here in a minute, too. A little offer. But first, let's get to it. Our first game on the day today. Uh, they're on the slate today. There's only three games in the NBA tonight, and there's a really good one with the Lakers on the road in Milwaukee, 730 Eastern tip. That game uh, is on TNT. M squared, what are you liking this one? I'm looking at the Milwaukee Bucks here, and this line is moving towards them, so I probably want to tell you to grab it as soon as you can. It was plus one. Now they're minus one. My simulations make the Bucks minus two and a half. So the biggest piece of information for this game is the Bucks game tomorrow on Friday has been postponed. So it's no longer the first night of a back-to-back -back set. It is a standalone game. They haven't played since Monday. They get the Lakers. They're coming off that loss to the Nets in a spot that they probably wanted to go out there and win. Now, LeBron obviously wants to win MVP. He's questionable. He's going to play in this game. But this game is significantly more meaningful to the Milwaukee Bucks at this point in the season as they look to prove something. I like them on the home floor. Give me the Bucks minus one. I would play it at minus two if I had to. Uh, quick nugget. Uh, this is the first time all season that the Lakers have been an underdog, home or away. Isn't that amazing for the defending champions? So it looks like it will stay that way as it's trending towards the Buck. Bucks being favored uh, by game time. All right. Uh, Maestro, you're going to the other game tonight on TNT, and this is a rematch of two nights ago. What do you like? Well, the Jazz laying six and a half again to the Pelicans. They won 118-102. They outshot them by 45 points from the three-point line. And, you know, we just saw this situation, Clippers and Kings. Clippers destroyed the Kings. The line barely moves. They destroy them again. I think we're in a similar situation. How can you get in front of the Jazz? Six straight wins, six straight covers by an average of 11 and a half points. I'm going to lay it with the Jazz. I tell you what, and they seem to be playing with a chip on their shoulder. Uh, wherever they're getting their motivation from, but with everybody else getting attention, I think these guys want attention too, and we're giving it to them right here on the show. All right, let's stay in the NBA and go with our favorite props of the day. M squared, let's start with you. We're headed right back to Milwaukee. We're going to be looking at Drew Holiday over five and a half assists, and this is coming back at plus money, plus 130. Uh, which is kind of interesting because he averages right at five assists per game. I already mentioned the key factor here is it's no longer the first night of a back-to-back -back for Milwaukee. It's a game they want to win. It's going to be competitive. Look for the starters to get pushed an extra two and a half to three minutes, which is absolutely critical for taking the over in some of these props. And then the other thing to consider in the NBA this year, if you watch video highlights, the assists, that are awarded from the scores keepers are very, very generous to teams that are playing on their home floor. Wow. Great point, Mike. I really like that one. I also have been attracted to a plus money prop and it's going to be in that Utah game with Bogdanovich going over two and a half, three pointers at plus plus one ten. He's gone over it in four straight and in five out of six and against the Pelicans, they give up the most made made threes and also the most attempted threes in the league. And we know that Utah, all they want to do is shoot threes. They shot 47 the other night, made 21, even if they only make 16 to 18 tonight, I think he can get three. 
Yeah, if you watch this Pelicans team play, by the way, they're horrendous on defense to back up your point that you just made. All right, uh, real quick, we do have an NHL play today. It's coming straight from the Sportsline app. Uh, graded A value is the Lightning minus one and a half goals at 51% of the time. Our simulations have them covering the one and a half goals. Now, if you want to get this pick and other picks for free, use the promo code EDGE right now. Open up an account today at Sportsline and get 30 days for free. By the time you're done with those 30 days, all the cappers, all the simulations, which have been killing it, you're going to be playing with house money. So literally, it won't cost you anything. You're welcome. Now, to the college hardwood, and we've got three plays tonight. Mike, we're going to start with yours. What do you like? So I'm going to start with Akron, minus 11 in this spot here against Central Michigan. I know this is a large spread at this point in the season. However, my simulations make this line about 14 and a half. This Central Michigan team is only 3-7 and seven against the spread. They're completely outmatched in basically every metric. And, you know, outside of a deep three backdoor cover like we saw earlier in the week in college basketball, this should be an easy win for Akron in this spot. All right, real quick before I get to Larry, you you were leaning a little bit, though, on a Weber State game, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I did have Weber State in there at plus one and a half. And in the time that we went to start this show, that line has since moved to minus two and a half. I think it's going to wow. go all the way to minus three. My simulation on it is minus 3.3. Um, and just knowing that that was there, I got to give it out as a lean. I can't give it out as a full play because I played it at plus one and a half, and I don't want to put that on the show just like that. So yeah, give I, me a lean on Weaver State. 100%. I mean, that's a four-point move by the end of the day. It's crazy. But these are the kind of numbers that we try to find for you at home because some of these smaller teams – Vegas just gets the number wrong sometimes, and this is a perfect spot. Mikey, thanks for pointing that out. All right, let's go to the maestro now. He's on a run of 86 and 57 against the spread. That's plus 2304 for a $100 better. So, Larry, you're on fire right now. Give me two more that I can take straight to the pay window. All right, Coach. Well, I'm going to have about four to six on Sportsline, but two that I will share right now that I really like. Wichita State plus three at Memphis. This Memphis team under 60 points. They've scored the last three games. They put in a new offense. Penny Hardaway calls it the Lion offense. The guys are supposed to be in constant motion. The big guys in the paint to grab offensive boards. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I just know it's not working. And they haven't covered seven. <laughs> they haven't covered seven straight. I mean, this team is very talented. And, uh, you know, they are at home. There will be limited fans in Memphis. But I just think Wichita State is the better team getting three points. Too, too good to pass up. I'm going to keep fading Memphis until, until they cover. And then going out west, Arizona, Arizona State. It is a rivalry game. It's at the Arizona State Sun Devils. But, I mean, this team could be on a six-game losing streak if not for a last-second shot. They just lost to Oregon State by one. Arizona just played Oregon State and won by 34. They're also Arizona 3-0 and in the conference on the road. This one on the road, laying two and a half. I think it's up to three. I'll still lay three. I don't want to lay more than three, but give me Arizona as well. Boy, you don't like to compare all the time, but those comparisons are astounding. 34-point win and a one-point win. By the way, the Pac-12 losing their uh, commissioner, Larry Scott, announcing uh, today that he is stepping down uh, later this year. All right, grab your paper. Grab your pencil. It is time for our full recap. We're going to start with M squared. He likes the bucks. This line keeps moving, so grab it because it's moving in the direction uh, of – the Lakers. So the Bucks right now are minus one, uh, according to our good friends Ed William Hill. Also, his NBA prop of the day, Drew Holiday, over five and a half assists. That's plus money, plus 130. And then in college, uh, the lean as Weber State is moving, but not giving that out as a pick. But we do like Akron here, minus the 11 over Buffalo. And then also the Maestro. He likes the Jazz for the second night in a row to beat uh, the Pelicans, giving six and a half. They just beat them by 16. And then uh, Bagnanovich. Over two and a half three pointers there, shooting lights out from the three is the Jazz, and then in college hoops, and this is where Larry really makes his money. Wichita State plus the three against Memphis and Arizona uh, in that two and a half minus three range, and then from Sportsline, Sportsline app we're giving out a graded A play, the Lightning minus one sixty, and also the Lightning uh, minus a goal and a half if you want to bring that number down. All right, you've got your marching orders. Let's take every single one of these tickets straight to the pay window. We're fired up and ready to bounce back because that's what we do seven days a week. For M Square, for the maestro, for Jacob the jeweler, great to have him back today putting the show together. And, of course, Chief, our mascot, I am the coach. 
This is the only place for your daily early edge.